Alrighty, here we go. this 1961 International Harvester bus. It's a B61. It, it has what I believe is a 304 cubic inch Y block. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's a really cool bus. About a three hour drive later, made her. All six tires on the bus still have air in them. Except that one I can hear is leaking a little bit. Now, any ideas how I'm gonna unload this? I realize this is YouTube and you can't really tell me how to do it before I actually do it. But I have no, no idea how I'm gonna do this. So this is definitely one of those, what's the worst that could happen things. Hook to the truck, slowly pull it off. Then I'll have to jump out and loosen the winch and then do that two or three times. Hopefully the, I need to secure that uh, winch hook a little better, but slowly take it down. What could go wrong? Got the bus moved kind of into place. Wanted to move it farther back, but uh, truck 
started digging in. So yeah, I'll work on it here for a bit until I need to, until I get it running and then I'll just park it into place. Here's the interior. It's uh, the roof is about six, about six two. I'm about six three, so. But it has a tankless water heater already installed into it. Installed in it, excuse me. Has electricity with it with a 40 amp plug. I'll probably change all of these to GCFI just to be a little safer, but it's pretty neat. I mean, it got like ghetto intrusion bars, which I'll probably keep just because they're kind of cool. But as you can see, his electronics are just mauled up in a big old ball. Probably replace all of those. I got a feeling I'm gonna just rewire the entire thing. Well, I don't got a feeling. I'm gonna rewire the entire thing and uh, convert it to 12 volts. Hopefully those gauges work, which I highly doubt they do. The engine in my bus is a 304 cubic inch Y block. It's a Y block because of uh, how deep the skirts go and how deep the oil pan goes. This is originally a six volt system, but I believe it's been converted over because if you look at the generator, it says it's 12 volt, but that could be a, uh, what is it called, a rectifier or an inverter? No, a rectifier inverter go to AC, DC or vice versa. I don't know, this brings, this could be what brings it back down to a six volt system. So I'd have to, I have to do a little more research on that and figure that out. But yeah, this is a little history on it. The Smooth Village is a park, is a food truck park in Austin or Houston. I don't know, I always get those two mixed up where I bought the bus out of. I'll probably be removing that sticker, but definitely gonna keep those cab lights, clean those up and fix those up, because they're cool. So we're missing quite a bit. Radiator, carb, the wiring is atrocious, there's no battery. It just needs a lot of, a lot of little things work. New belts. There's a lot of cracks in the glass and whatnot, and the front windshield is not a windshield, it's plexiglass, tech screwed into place, and this steel diamond plate riveted into place. So I'm gonna obviously replace that, try to get a real window. There's no uh, seat, so I've been using this bucket to move it. It's a manual transmission. Four speed with a split rear end. And just needs a, a lot of little things, but I think I can make it run. There's the air horns that are on it. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it yet besides get it running and get it working mechanically. When I bought it, the guy said he had drained the oil for some reason. So I'm gonna fill her back full of oil just to lubricate everything. And before I get it started, I'll do another oil change and whatnot. Put a gallon of a uh, pretty thick 10W30 in there. Some diesel oil, just to try to lubricate everything. And I'm gonna have to borrow over like four or five. Gonna pull all the spark plugs and then take a look inside, see what I see. The four on the driver's side don't look too bad. Just old and sooty. So that's good. That means we probably have a good cylinders. So I'm gonna throw this uh, boroscope in every single board, see what I see. Gotta turn the light up somehow. There we go. Let's 
see any big scars or anything on it. Here's the second one. So that'd be number three if this was a small block Chevy. I'm not sure what these are numbered as. There's some corrosion and some carbon buildup, but it doesn't look that bad. Be five. Once again, if this small block. Ah, there we can see it. This one a little better. little pity. Hmm. Not bad. So, looks to me like it's got a little corrosion and uh, a little, little wear on the side walls or on the cylinder walls. Don't look half bad. the spark plugs on the passenger side they all look pretty good just like the ones on the other side oh hey pretty good Now I'm going to fill every single cylinder full of uh, uh, two-stroke oil, some cheapo two-stroke oil, and then some Marvel's mystery oil. I still think Derek knows what's in it. Put those old rusty spark plugs back in, just so uh, there's no water that leaks into there. Uh, filled the rest of the intake with Marvel mystery oil and two-stroke oil. So if it seeps down, it'll seep down in the cylinders and uh, lubricate everything, lubricate the valves and cylinder and whatnot. A little bit of Marvel Mister oil in the engine. Still low on oil, but I'll just let it soak in there down there. I'll, pro I'll have to take out the distributor and run the oil pump for a while just to lube everything up, but not today. That's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed.